Hey, quick video today. I'm going to show you three aliases uh, that I find really useful and that don't get in your way. And they're right here. So if you just want to read them, if you already know what they are, uh, cool, shut off the video, you're done. And if you don't know what an alias is, this is not the video for you. You should, you should look up how to use them. There's a, there's a ton of them. So three shell aliases that I, I actually find really useful uh, day to day. First one is MV. So you probably know the, the move command, right? MV dash IV. Okay. So the standard move command, I, first I want to tell you something. If you put a backslash before an alias, it's going to not use the alias, right? So uh, if I use MV right now, it's going to use my alias. If I put the backslash before it, it's going to ignore the alias and just use the actual command. Okay. And I'm in a directory here and I've got a file called first file. So let me move it uh, to, uh, you know, I'll just call it tom.txt or something like that. Uh, that's how MV normally works. That's what you're probably used to. But with my alias, um, dash I dash V, uh, let's move this to a banana. I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at naming things. Uh, and you'll see a little bit of a difference here. So first thing is that it renamed the, it shows you exactly what you just did, uh, which is pretty useful, right? Because you, uh, might not realize that you accidentally changed it to the wrong name or something like that. Now, the, the next thing here is, so I've got banana.txt, right? Let me uh, let me make one here. So I'm gonna touch apple.txt. And now I'm going to move banana.txt to apple.txt. Uh, I've got dash i here. So this is going to interrogate me. It's gonna ask me, are you sure you wanna do this? You wanna overwrite apple.txt? Yes, okay, great. And then there we go, perfect, so that's done. Okay, so. I think that's useful. It doesn't really change how the move command works. It just makes things a lot clearer to me, right? So I don't lose anything now when I'm in a bash shell or something like somewhere somewhere else. If I SSH in some server that's not my own, I still know how to use move. I haven't lost all that knowledge, but locally it's a little bit nicer to, for me. Okay, the next one is the uh, copy command. So CP, uh, you have probably used this uh, a billion times, right? So let's copy. Uh, apple.txt to banana.txt, uh, banana, what am I doing, .txt, like that. Okay, so you probably guessed the V, that's again verbose, right? So tell me exactly what you copied here. But the, there's two more here, there's I and V. So I is the exact same thing. So if I wanna do copy banana.txt to apple.txt, do you wanna overwrite? No, I don't wanna do that. Okay, but I also have R, so that is uh, recursive that's recursive so let me let me show you what that means here so I have a directory uh, called some directory let's go in here let's make a file uh, let's call it uh, tom.txt okay great and uh, now I'm going to make another directory called uh, robots Na <laughs> naming is really hard I think I think naming is really hard so I want to Let's, let's try the, the normal copy. So copy some directory into robots. Ooh, oh no, omitting directory, right? It doesn't know what to do here. So with the recursive flag, so that's what I have in my alias, right? So let's just do this exact same thing, but like that, it's going to do this recursively. So it's gonna copy the directories and the files inside the directory, which is what you would be used to if you're using like a, uh, a file explorer, like a GUI, that's what you would get. So I find that pretty useful. Okay, last one, um, make dear, make dear dash VP. Uh, can you guess what this is going to do? Uh, so you probably already can guess the uh, dash V. So if I use make dear without uh, my alias, right? So make dear uh, Tom. Okay, what did it do? I have no idea. Oh, it made the directory Tom. Perfect, it worked, right? Um, but maybe I want this to show up with an alias, right? So, or sorry, I want to see exactly what happens. I'll do make dir uh, Fred like that. There we go. So it tells me exactly what it did, but we also have P. So what is P here? P stands for parent, right? So if I say make dir, um, one, two, three, there we go. Cannot create directory one, two, three, no such directory. Oh, I gotta move this thing. No such file or directory. Okay, so it's trying to create this, but it can't find one, so how can it make two? And it can't make, find two, so how can it make three? So uh, make dir, so let's just do that again, but with my alias, 
So it's actually gonna go and create them uh, for me. So if it, if it finds one that's missing, if it finds one that's missing, if there's one that's missing, uh, it creates it in, in place for me, right? So now I can, uh, I can, now I gotta move this back up here. Uh, now I can do my tree here and I can see that everything has been created for me. So these are pretty simple aliases. I find them really useful. And again, they don't make me a worse, uh, worse, um, what, what am I trying to say? Shell user when I'm SSH'd into some computer that I don't know because I can still fall back on. I know how move works and how copy works and how make dir works. And I can always check out the man pages for any of these things if I, if I forget something like that. Okay, hope that was useful. Talk to you later. Bye.